Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Hope you're having a wonderful week so far. It's Thursday for most of the week. Yeah. Yeah, and hope your week's going well. Hope it's been a good time. And yeah, um, I don't know what my week's been like. <laughs> it seems to have been a blur. Monday was a holiday, um, so it's short work week, so there's a little extra work. It's been pretty good. It's been raining, which is kind of crazy. It hasn't really rained for the entirety of the summer and before that, so it's it's a good thing, actually. So it's been raining a lot. But besides that, everything's all right. Working, sleeping, eating usual stuff and yeah on Monday we finished off uh, Paper Mario the thousand year door which was pretty cool we got to see the ending of that um, we may or may not play some extended game um, I think of YouTubing it you never know you never know but there's some post game I can do but that's not happening tonight. Hell, tonight we're gonna play a new game. Um, I don't actually know how old this game is, but I don't know how new it is. It's new to me. Um, yeah, we are going to play to the moon, which is a this is a retro style point and click game. I picked it off on GOG, GOG.com during the sale. Um, it looked interesting. The concept seemed to be interesting, and we're gonna play it. I played a little bit on my own just to see how it is, and yeah, I'm not sure. The music is very loud. I don't have a lot of control over it. Hopefully, it's not too loud in your ear. I might turn it down just a little bit, just a smidgen. I don't want to be too light, but yeah. Anyways, let's begin our game. They will be reading involved, just to warn you. We got some original music. And some lovely artwork. It's this isn't the longest game in the world, I think. Should be able to do in two streams unless I get lost, which can happen in RPGs. Oh. Raise that. Oh no! A squirrel has been murdered, it looks like. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Uh, you ran over it anyway. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Um, well, just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? Mm, he's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? It's true, you can be a cat and a dog person. You could love both of them equally. They're, they're not like opposites. Fine, whatever. Furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Hmm, good. Go write that on your report later. Let's go grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click on an object to interact with it. Like this flower. Oh, there's nothing. Like this car. Oh, oh. Received equipment. That was fun. Got the sucker. Let's roll. 
right click to toggle menu or cancel okay characters dr neil watts technic technician specialist sigmund group dr eva rosaline senior memory transversal agent sigmund corp uh can I write stuff? I don't think I can write stuff. I think I. This is stuff we learn as we go along. Equipment. Um, with a box is heavy, what's inside has got to be important. All right, we're gonna save. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I've played this before. Well, a little bit just to get going. Um, we'll go file three. That will be us. Um, let's not exit the game. How do I get away? Okay, right click. All right. Uh, we got a squirrel. Ah, tis tis. Chick chick. Oh, come on. I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? You could have stopped. Not crash the car and evade it. Mm, that's asking too much. Poor squirrel. I blame it on the car. Who puts the driver's seat on the right anyway? Okay. No, no, that doesn't do anything. A smoking hot car. Okay. So we got arrows. We got an arrow there and an arrow there. Wilds household ahead. Um, putting up a sign where they live in the middle of nowhere is asking is like asking to be robbed. Well, how else would you find them? Let's go this way. The sign to the house points to the other way. Oh, how kind of it to to exist. So I guess that's the point of the sign. We, we don't want to go this way. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Uh, just want to see if you remembered. Oh. How, how thoughtful of you. There's a log. This gives me like Chrono Trigger vibes. Sort of. It's a bird. Okay. Who put the boulder here? Maybe it's their security system? Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's push it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that? Abort mission and go home. Uh, find a branch. Push it by hand. Let's look for a branch. Can we just go? Can we just leave? Be like, screw you. There was a rock in the way. I don't know what I'm doing here. I just started this game. A branch will do. Uh, oh, there's a branch. Chirp. Was it there before? Receive tree branch. Tree branch. All right, this better work. Yeah, oh. What was that? I don't even. We broke the rock. It's some kind of an air ball. Uh, right. 
we need to get going now. All right. Um, oops. We broke a ball that looked like a rock. It looked like a rock. Oh, oh. There were squirrels. Do you see that? There were squirrels. Squirrels are afoot. Do we keep the tree branch? No. Okay. So we could save and redo that. I mean, or we did save. We could redo that and not destroy the thing, but yeah, we'll, we'll accept mistakes. This is the first playthrough. It happens. Sometimes you deflate balls that look like rocks. Hopefully it won't be a game ending thing. Where are we going? <laughs> Our buddy does not look happy. Actually. Ooh. Oh, 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 we, we set up a, a scene? Or not. I guess we just look. Looks like a lighthouse. We got a lighthouse. Not a heavy house. I mean, this is an RPG. You gotta explore. You never know. There could be money or gill or whatever currency they have lying around. Ma, they're here. It's Ma. Sorry. <gasps> Jenny! Hey, Jenny! Welcome, welcome! It's good to see you. And thank you for subscribing 28 months. Woo, indeed. It's good to see you, Jenny. I hope your week's going well. Uh, yeah, if you're, you're just getting here. We're playing a uh, retro style point and click game called uh, To the Moon, which I found on Gog. A little while back. <laughs> we are two people. We are going to this house. We hit a squirrel. And we broke a rock. That's 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 all I know. And we are going to hydrate because talking requires that. Not a black. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Him. Voice acting. Not a bad place to retire, huh? <laughs> I, I could do better. Dr. Watts is a jerk. He's a squirrel murdering jerk. Oh, I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad work has been less busy for you. I'm doing good. Um, it's a short week for me, so there's a little extra work that tends to happen. But besides that, it's been okay. It's been raining, which is really a good thing because it hasn't rained since, like, spring. So it, it's, it's, you know, making the grass look a little healthier. And it's cooling things down a little bit. <laughs> that's my that's my excitement. Let's see, what what are you talking about, Doctor Watts? Oh yeah, he could do better. He could do better. He's a fancy doctor. Oh, is is it very? Yeah, Doctor Watts. Doctor Watts was driving our car, and the squirrel jumped in front of it, and then he tried to avoid it, but he ended up hitting the squirrel and a tree. So he like killed a squirrel, hurt a tree, and killed our car. We're having a, we're having a night. Oh yeah, is it, is it still very warm where you are? I imagine it is. It's, it's summer, but I haven't been hearing, you know, like last year it was all like 
fire and terribleness. I haven't been hearing a lot of that lately. So I, I hope it's better. Hope it's a better summer for you. Ah, uh, night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. <laughs> yeah, when when you're night shifts, when you're a night shift person, you you learn to love your night shifts. It's probably going to be another all nighter, you know. I know. I doubt they have any coffee. Shut up. Be professional. Be professional, Dr. Watts. In the ocean, waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Oh. <laughs> We're just, like, ignoring him. Oh, well, <laughs> as long as you're safe, Jenny. And your kitties. <laughs> Don't forget your stupid equipment, moron. <laughs> they have a good working relationship. I don't get paid enough for this. Oh, Dr. Watts. You're too much. Oh, act one. That looks very scary. I never told anyone, but I always thought they were lighthouses. I don't know what that means. Dr. Watts, Dr. R Rosaline, I presume? Thank you for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths any as well. Uh, are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just a caretaker. <laughs> Look at the kids. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. Aw, poor little kitty. What, what, one of my cats gets mad at sometimes like her fur gets a little oily usually happens when I go on vacations and I think we, we got her like food that has natural calmingness to it it seems to help her out okay. it's not exactly a nine-to-five job so Johnny lets us live here. Hmm. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen. If it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Oh, my, my, my kitty's alright. She she just gets stressed sometimes. Come on, grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Oh, Dr. Watts. Hey, we're, we're controlling Dr. Watts. We are Dr. Watts. Let's go down here. Where are you going? Grab the box that we can head upstairs. I, I want to. I want to go here. Where are you going? Okay, I think this is just gonna be a thing. Or river. Wait, what kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. I wanted to see that. Can I look at it? Or river. Johnny H. Wild. Okay. Received equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Can we look around now? Patient is waiting upstairs. Best, better not waste time. Okay. Oh, there's a clock. 
we can look at the clock it is like 10 to 11 ish or 10 to 10 it's hard to, it's hard to tell when there's no numbers let's go upstairs oh there we go oh hey stream elements how's it going go upstairs good for you <laughs> my um my auto commands weren't working before uh oh sorry okay they're gone whoever gets whoever gets there first gets to play the melody <laughs> no fair you pushed me did not whatever you get the boring two notes anyway Aww. What's the theme music? Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there's no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteorite. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay. I don't know if time is actually running. I don't think the game is that involved. Can I, I, I can't look at this right now. Okay. How's how's your game stuff going, Jenny? This made this, this made me think of of you, you know. Always love the love the indie games. Okay, we can turn on the lights. That's a weird lamp to have beside your toilet, honestly. Also, a toilet on a wooden floor. That's a little, that's a little odd, but I mean, older houses, I don't know. It's a fancy house. Like it, I mean, the bathtub's on tiles. So if you do splishy splash there, it's not so bad. <laughs> I, I guess I should see them, but I don't want to progress the story. Oh, well, we'll progress the story. Let's talk to people. Ready to set up? Um, look around first. Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. Sir? You look doctorish. I guess, I guess we should put it down. Oh, we're talking to the doctor now. I was just clicking poorly. I've made the window a little bigger than it wants to be so my clicking's a little off like the the game really wants to be full screen and i don't want to do that for streaming purposes uh he's responsive unresponsive at this point but by the looks of things he's still unconscious he's still consciously hanging on it's hard to say how long you'll have but i would hurry okay let's Let's get going. Yeah, we'll set up this machine. Yes, it'll just be a moment. <laughs> that's a, that's all right. I mean, that makes sense, Jenny. Are you sure a common household power outlet was is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Um, oh crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. Oh, Dr. Watts. Uh, 
How is he doing? Uh, not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you, you two can grant him any wish? Um, to try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. What? The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? Rude. So, can you do it? I like, they just kind of ignore Dr. Watts. Um, it depends. She, mean, she meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. But I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Oh, Dr. Watts. Shush. Just do your thing. No. Oh. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. All right, which one of us is plays detective? Who goes to search the house? Player control, let's do R Rosalind. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. All right, we can move around. Ooh, you got another project? That sounds cool. I, I don't know about how to code controls or anything, so. Oh, it's, it's, it's cool that you have some projects though on the go. Also, I, I know how hard it is to do extra projects when you're working, too. I'm excited to see what c comes of them. Um, are we, we'll, we'll talk. Hey, Tommy, they're downstairs. I want to talk to... Shoo, go do your detec detective work. Okay, we're going to look around. Let's go down here. Oh yeah, this is the bathroom. You already looked at the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your patient's not looking too healthy. Let me look at these now. Looks like there's three pe- oh! A casual painting of three people. A painting of an animal of some sort. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of a lighthouse by a cliffside. Yeah, so my, my clicking is- oh, oh, now it works. I- I don't know. I don't- I don't know if my clicking is off because I've- Readjusted the window manually. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about right, Jenny. I have like all these like video ideas that I want to get going. I just actually need to like, like I've I plotted them out and all that. I just actually need to you know do stuff. Oh, doctor. 
The doctor is asking for us. I have something for you. Hello, doctor. Here, take this. Receipt for mo patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks, I was just gonna ask for it. Sure you were. Johnny's heart monitor is now active in menu. Um, oh, there it is. Aw, poor Johnny. He's not looking so caught. Now let's save. Yeah, one, one of the reasons I've been doing the shorts is, you know, to get me actually in the doing things mode. And they seem like a, a good way to have projects that were easily t easy to obtain. Okay. I think I think the clock is moved. I don't know. Um What was that? Oh, it's, it's just a light. I shouldn't be surprised. I better ask those kids first. Go inside anyways? Sure. It's like a little artist studio. I almost stepped on paint. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You can look at this. A Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami has already supplanted the great Wikipedia Origamia as the standard repository of all knowledge and wisdom about paper folding. For though, as, though it has many omniscience and contains much that is apocryphal, I don't know, or at least widely inaccurate, it scores over the older, more pedestrian work in two important respects. First, it's made of paper, and secondly, it provides numerous band-aids to make up for inevitable paper cuts resulting in the, reader, in the reading of this book. Okay, that, that, this is cute. This is um, a playoff Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. In the book, they explain that the book Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is more popular than the Encyclopedia Galactica. And like, basically for reasons like this, like it's, it's worded the same way, it's just the nouns are different. Like the um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy has a what is it? A like a lovely cover with embossed name, and in bright letters it says "Don't panic" on the cover, something like that. Anyways, that, that's my nerd moment of the day. Okay, let's go bug the kids. Because I guess our patient will die, maybe. What you want? Um, show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. Uh, what do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Huh? 
There's a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf we, that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... <laughs> cut the crap and help. Sure. I'll go get it for you. My mother used to do keep candies on high shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Um... Oh, okay. it, we were just there. I think? The kitchen... The kitchen's at the other door. Oh. Sorry. Is it here? I thought there was a candy cane over there. No, this is a bathroom. You know this is a fancy house when they have, like, so many bathrooms. It's a nice house. If I was a retro style RPG person, I'd want to live here. Uh, there's a candy cane. Oh no! I can't reach it. Oh, can I? Yeah, look at that. We can mani ma manipulate objects. Might as well get that candy cane for them while I'm here. Oh, how do I? How do I? Oh, I have to walk there. Receive candy cane. And terrible calories. I'm so judgy. So this is a kitchen. Okay. Alright. Here's your candy cane. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Okay. Where do we start? I know. There's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what do you mean by a funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hides it inside a book in the study. Okay. So, I guess that was... This is the study because we saw a book. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Okay. Okay. Um, Dusklight, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Aww. Um, Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. We already read that. I guess we're going to read Dusklight. Uh, maybe another year. Received a room key. Oh, he chose its hiding spot well. <laughs> Zombie adventure love books. So we can step on the paint now. Okay, we got we got the thing. Children. Tommy used to throw books at me and called it a book fight. Until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Hee <laughs> It's just a bunch of books in here. They've not they've nothing I don't know though about though. Okay, Tommy. Are we going? We're going to the basement. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Okay. Let's go. Uh, this is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on a light before you trip over something. You know what? I'm good at turning on. Ooh. The chest is locked. I, I want in that chest. Oh, um... 
Oh, it's a room key. No, 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 wrong button. We still find all kinds of cool junk here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Once we were down here and the lights went out and Tommy fell down those stairs. He chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. Wow. That's like real sibling talk there. Um, what do we got here? Cabinet is filled with dusty books. Cabinet is filled with fine china. Unused fine ch china. Interesting. Boxes are filled with colored paper. <laughs> I know, they're very violent siblings. The door is locked. Open the door with the room key. We did it. It's like a cave in here. Oh! There are bunnies. That's not creepy at all. A rabbit folded out of paper. Uh, what are you? A stuffed toy platypus. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Uh, poke it. Well, set it up. Aw. Take it. Receive toy platypus. A broken music box. Okay. I guess he likes making origami rabbits. It's a good thing he has that book about not getting paper cuts. Uh, did you see it? Um, what do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Uh, where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath the cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Uh, you aren't supposed to go in there either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee. Mm -hmm. Remind me, <laughs> remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold out, but... Yeah, let's go stay and wait for the machine. Let, no, we're gonna go on an adventure with some children. You know what? Fine. Maybe they'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check out that lighthouse. Or, let's check that lighthouse out. Yeah, we're gonna go on an adventure. What's over here? Is this a bathroom? Okay. Sorry, children. Um, okay. Um, you know, probably best not to take children out in the middle of the night to see some cliff house, lighthouse. But, you know, it's a video game, so we're, we're cool with this. Well, there's a lighthouse. There it is! We need to head south to the street and take the other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. You don't need a parachute. I'll catch you. You jump first. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't do this in the middle of the night. Well, you like super dark. I'm gonna hydrate because you know it's it's very scary. I'm sure it'll be okay. As long as the squirrels don't get us, we'll be fine. 
Uh oh. Okay, that was close. Oh, there is. Oh no! My novelty beach ball. Someone broke it. Uh. It was stupid anyway. But it was the bestest novelty beach ball I ever had. Oh, who could have been so cruel? <laughs> it, um, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it. You will. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of broke his beach ball. Um, because it looked like a rock. Um, sure. But we kind of need to go get going now. So I don't know if this ha like if has any impact besides him being upset about it. But I guess that was an option. We had the option of like kicking the ball or poking with a stick or like going home. And we poked it with a stick and it didn't do so well. <gasps> it's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed a car? Mm, not me. It's pretty dark out. Oh, that, sorry. That was me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it in away. <laughs> what? Tommy's a super powerful knight, and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh, that's um nice. You roleplay too? Uh, no. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just... You children watch. Okay. Apparently we're roleplaying now. Ooh, there's like a... Something there. I mean, sleeping. <gasps> Oh, a squirrel! Oh no, it's a terrible squirrel gone. Oh my gosh. We're having a battle with the squirrel. Don't worry, children, I'll protect you. <laughs> the kids are like, what? Squirrel. Uh, defend. The best defense is a good offense. Um, shoo. Volcano jump whirlwind slap. There we go. Yelling volume. Loudest. Your time is at an end, squirrel gone. Hiya! Stop it. Or we'll tell Ma your uh, animal abuse. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What? I was just, I wasn't going up. Huh? Didn't you say you like role playing? You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Um, let's forget this happened. <laughs> the bird does not forget. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, we decided to pretend to fight the squirrel, and the kids got mad at us. It was cute, though. It was like we were going to have a battle. But then we didn't. Because, you know, it's not nice to beat up squirrels. Don't beat up squirrels, kids. Ooh, imagine having your own lighthouse. That's kind of cool. Um, what's that? In memory of River E. Wilds. River Wilds. Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right there. We're investigating, kids.
Um, is that a basement? No. It seems like a safe place to bring kids. An old lighthouse. Oh. The rabbits are here too. This is it. I, I, okay. It seems like this hasn't been lit in years. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess this one's special. A multicolored paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh, yeah. Jo Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. Um, this is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things are actually... Actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an old, odd hobby, though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Um, why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. Receive Paper Rabbit. We have a Paper Rabbit, everybody. We did it. We have a Paper Rabbit and a Platypus on us. <sighs> oh, why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm just... I'm just one... Uh, sorry. I'm late just one time and you milk it. Please tell me we're good to go. Of course we are. Because I'm competent. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. Oh, is my audio? Uh... I, my mic is working. There's not a lot of game audio right now. I'll turn it up, though. I think I'm good. I didn't drop any frames. <laughs> it could be Twitch. Twitch has been doing things in the background lately. I think we're good, though. Um, we're, we're supposed to go on a couch. Your helmet is on a couch. Chop, chop. Uh, oh, oh, I did not see the couch. Oh, um, I don't know. I, I, I would, I would, let's blame Twitch. Let's blame Twitch. I'm, I'm sure it's perfect. Oh, I guess we're initiating? Wait, no, no. Let's talk to the doctor first. Go on. I'll watch over his physical conditions through the procedure. Uh, ma'am? By the way, I'm curious. How does it work? Do you just write him another life? Like a novel? Um, yeah, let's let's explain. Um, uh, let's, let's snooze our ads for a bit. Sorry. Twitch is a little ad heavy right now. It's it's hard to have control over. I I just snoozed an ad. Um we're gonna explain. Um no, we can't just make up new memories out of thin air. Then how do you do it? Um, not us. The machine does most of it. Oh sorry, that was Dr. Watts. Naturally, since we aren't paid enough to get our hands dirty. In a nutshell, we simply travel through his memories um, to, an earl to as early as possible. When we do, we would then transfer his registered desire to go to the moon. Um, to the reconstruction of the world and himself at the early state. 
And with the help of a wiki of data and his own, the machine would then simulate a rerun. Except this time, he'll have the motivation of his registered desire with him all his life. So you'd be depending on him to fulfill his own wish by simply having the desire to? How could that be? Everyone has ambition for things, but most don't accomplish them. Wow. Wow, Lily. Hmm. That's because in the real world, ambitions fluctuate and fade. People start things off with a passion, but eventually they lose that initial drive and slow down. Wow, that's, that's very true. But imagine if you locked into that initial push through your entire life, never wavering. It's more powerful than it seems. That being said, no ambition is going to help a dead man. We better get go get started. Of course, sorry. Um, since he mentioned that, can I look at the clock? I didn't know you had ADHD, Eva. Wow. Rude. Okay, let's go. So, yeah, basically we're going to enter his mind, his memories, and try to implant the idea of him wanting to go to the moon. And so he'll rewrite his own memories that he went to the moon, in theory, and he'll die with his dreams fulfilled. Uh, that's that's our job here. So, in, I, I don't know. When I kind of read that about this game, I thought it was it was interesting. It's like an indie movie. This should be the last accessible memory. Uh, disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Okay. Oh, we can move around. Um, let's save. Um, come on. Selections, a selection of readings from medical journals. Uh, oh, all the pictures are blank. Lights don't work. We use the bathroom. We can't use the bathroom in his in his memories. It's probably a good thing. Can we look at the time? Receiving note clock. Oh. I don't know what that means. The clocks in Johnny's house never tick. Okay. I don't know what that means. Um. There's a piano. A river. Wait, 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 wait. I saw that. Oh. Okay, so we can't turn on the lights in his m memory. Can we go downstairs? Doesn't look like it. Um... Oh, 
Oh. What's going on? Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. I don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is... Uh, Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Um, Dr. Neil Watts. Meh. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Clearly, get us some tea, please. Uh, Lily? Actually, actually, you've already called us. <laughs> messing with him. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Uh, it's just a program, you know. I know. But this is his last accessible memory. We need his cooperation. Worst come, worst comes to worst. We just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You. <laughs> We're freaking him out. You are here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Aww. It's sad that his, mem his memory is realizing he's dying. Not good enough, it seems. Wow, Dr. Watts is an asshole. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? Um, we can't. But you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. That was Dr. Watts swearing. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you to go there. You want the fame? The money? You gotta have a motive. I'm sorry, but I don't... I don't know. I just... I just do. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we do. We need to get to your childhood, but it's it is too distant to do that to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we need to traverse through your memories with a gradual backwards leap, which You've given us permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. This is where you'll need to help us influence your childhood, the childhood you, to become an astronaut. Or to get a, on a giant catapult. The point is... You'll need to have more to say than just, I don't know. Mm. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to a memory, we need an item that is important to you. A uh, item of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. It's the rabbit. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Um. Oh. 
I guess I should I should I should just play it. Um, can we talk to him first? Okay, we'll we'll take the rabbit. Receive note moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Wait, 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 wait. What's this note? Objective, the moon, and Johnny's memory is full. Okay, I'm gonna save. Okay, we'll prepare. I don't know what that means, but we'll do it. Oh, oh, we got computery things going on. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Complete the memento. Click the orbs to flip pieces. Oh no, it's a puzzle. What does this mean? Okay, that was easy. The me memento can now be activated for traversal. I, I okay. Um. Oh, oh I, th I thought I thought that was thinking. I I don't know. Windows has taught me that that means thinking. Um. Okay. Let's let's do some traversing. Activate. Wait. What about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Goodbye, old Johnny. Oh. Oh. Hey, there's a platypus. Where are we? Wait. We haven't gone very far. Like we were here, and now we're here. I, I'm expecting to be here. Turn on visibility and interactivity. Um, it'd be messy to be seen. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, happy? Okay, okay, so we don't, like, freak out his past self by, you know, being able to be seen. Geez, what's with all these rabbits? This is creeping me out. We probably should have checked his record for psychopath first. What the? Did he hear me? That's impossible. Probably just part of the, this memory. Uh oh. Uh, then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit, quit, sorry, quit babbling, blabbering, there we go, and find a memento here to hop from. Well, there's the platypus. Interact with objects to establish five memory links. Well, we got this guy. Multicolored paper rabbit. Well, aren't you special having two colors when your siblings all look like they drowned in bleach? What's that? You think you're really creepy? Why, yes, I agree. Okay. Um, can we go upstairs? I mean, there's this thing. Are we, are we not? Oh. Requires memory links to shoot. What does that mean? I, I, I guess we can't grab it unless we know about it. I'm guessing. There's a platypus. You can't talk to him. There's all these rabbits. We can't look at this again, can we? Yeah, let's go upstairs.
Wait, there he is. Then who's downstairs? I guess these are just many memories. An old patched up backpack. Uh, what is this? A million years old? I guess we'll find out. Can I grab you? The Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. Okay. Uh, medical journals, he had those before. Oh, 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 there's a, a thing. Glass bottle of pickled olives. Uh, I hate this stuff. What's the hate? It's pickled olive. Exactly. He doesn't like olives, that's okay. Okay, we got... He's down here now. Don't. If we have to explain our presence to him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tempt me. Fresh wild flowers. Um. Are we good? We didn't get a memory about that backpack. It's hard to see what I can and can't touch. But maybe, oh, as we do memory things, it'll get clear. I, 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 no. Okay. The clock is moving, but soundless. Oh. Hadouken! What the smiggles was that? What? That, that's it. I'm doing the breaking from now on. Oh, is, is there a new spot? We can prepare this? I don't know what we're really doing, but we're doing it. Reminder, corner orbs can be flipped the entire diagonal. You can flip the entire diagonal. Okay. I didn't realize there would be puzzles. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, I guess so. Oh, he's having memory when he had the umbrella. <gasps> We're slightly further back. Okay. <laughs> so I thought it was just going to be five areas, but it's a lot more in depth. Um, when it comes to rain, though, it's better to, it's better than on to. Oh. When it comes to rain, brew. Okay. I don't mind it regardless. Seems like these memories hop only a span of a short period of time. We need to find a leaping memento. Or it's going to take forever. Meh. Just, join, join, just enjoy the scenery. Okay. There's, oh, there's the thing. There's the platypus. Old stuffed toy platypus. Honestly, I just don't think this animal has the right to exist. Aw. The world's not big enough for the two of you. He's so judgy. Cars three bars of memory links to proceed. Um, this will go down. 
And, uh, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, there's the uh, grave. Can we look at the umbrella again? It's so broken, right? Oh, I guess... <laughs> okay. I thought we only found two memories, but... I guess... Coming here counted as one? Or the umbrella itself? Uh... Okay, John. It's finished, River. Like you, I'll be able to watch over here, watch over her every day. She won't be alone anymore. I might uh, never understand why, but I say true to your wish. I'm sure Anya, Anya is grateful to you too, but when I'm gone, who's going to watch over us? Aww. Who are you? My name is Eva. I was just passing by. Uh, was she your wife? Yes, her name was River. That's a special name. It didn't need to happen. Huh? She... She didn't need to do it. But she... You wouldn't understand. I don't even understand. Um... Okay. I feel this is gonna be a feeling game. Receive note, Anya. Um, someone John and River cared for, like a child, maybe. And sounds like the River may have killed herself. I mean. I'm sort of grasping. About time you got here. I almost thought you fell off the cliff. He talks about going over the cliff a fair bit. What were you doing? Enjoying the scenery? What else? Any luck here? Big luck. Huge. Dinosauric. Huh? This place looks pretty empty. It's a lighthouse. What do you expect? Anyway, I'll catch you on the other side. Have fun re-breaking the barrier for yourself. What? Okay. Broken lighthouse lamp. Oh, he keeps on making memories. Uh, the platypus is here again. Oh, he's being sad and alone. I went. Give it platypus. Okay, we did a platypus. We're gonna prepare this memento. Um, ideal shows the minimum number of moves. Memento can be completed in. So it can be completed in three moves. I don't understand this quite yet. 
But I think this will work. Yeah. Okay. We did it. Oh, look at him. I'll activate you. I don't know if I should be hopping so quickly or is this something we need to like look around? I'm just worried because he's could die so ah uh, just enough after we pay for your operation we'll have just enough left for it so don't you worry white lie that's what you call it right no I'm sure we can just stop it I don't like it when you lie. I calculated our finances. I know how it's like. Why do you try to convince me against my will? We need the money for your medical bills, River. I understand that Anya means a lot to you, but this, this is just too much. I mean, she, she isn't even, do you know what makes me happy, Johnny? What? Do you? Well, I do. I just, I hope you can help me with it. River. When the papers for my treatments get here, I will not sign them. What you do with our money is up to you. But if you would grant my wish, I want you to use it to finish building that house. And then, for every day that you live there, I want you to watch over her. Visit her, speak to her, comfort her. I don't want her to be alone anymore. And what about you? Happy. I will I'll be happy. Johnny. Yes. I made this. Oh. Tell me what is it? What? Just tell me what it is. It's it's a rabbit, like the others you made. What else? Um, it's made of paper. What else? Its body's yellow and the rest is blue. Good. What else? Look, River. I, I wrote a song. It's for you. Okay. Well, would you like to hear it? Yes. You didn't have to bring the piano in here for this. Oh. Um, Dr. Watts is here. Um, I can hear you just fine with the door open. It's called For River. Why so cliche? It's just a placeholder. this Anya they're talking about if she's so important shouldn't we have seen her in his 
late memories? I guess he didn't keep that promise after all. Unless... Unless what? Never mind. Hey, that's the same song that the kids were playing earlier, huh? I guess he taught them. You know what? I'm too manly for this. I'm heading on. I already got my memory links. You want to hitch a quick ride or look around yourself? Uh, let's explore. Go ahead. I'll catch up with you. Don't you miss the day when memory to audio... Sorry, memory audio to MP8 conversion was legal? I think I brought home over 2,000 songs during my first year on the job. Wow. Okay. Receive note paper rabbit. What River gave to John. We're gonna save. Receive note for River. A song Johnny wrote for his deceased wife. The title is a placeholder. I think he's just saying that. I think it's actually the title. Some plants. Oh, there's a barrier. Where are we? So what time is it? it is, oh, slightly younger or less old, Johnny. Almost. Um, plant. What's going on down here? It's weird, the memories are, you have multiple memories in a time period. It makes sense, but it's interesting. A pot mixed of dough. This thing again. Bottle of pickle olives. Someone really likes these. Who are these guys? Nicholas. I'm telling you, there's just no way. What if we take it apart? Look at us, John. We aren't exactly the ripe age of piano moving. You know what? If this means that much to you, I'll pay for the professionals to do this. I can't help saving that house for you. So this is the, the least I can do. Aw. Hey, Nicholas. Thank you. I don't know what's going on, but that seems really cool. Uh, you, can, you can't save the world, but you can do what you can. Go upstairs. Yeah, there's like a little t uh, hourglass when we went downstairs, so that could just indicate that it's a different time period. Okay. So let's see if we can break this thing. Oh, I need one more. Um... Oh, oh, there's a book. Emperor's New Clothes by Hans Christian Andersen. We've seen that before. There we go. So what time is it? 11.50. We'll play for a little while longer. Um, yeah, this will be my Thursday game. I don't imagine it'll be... It'll go for another more than another stream. We'll just see. I don't want to really want to rush the game though, because it's. I don't know. It's got lots of feels. Okay. Ideal in four turns. 
If we do this, I'll turn that. them uh, uh oh yeah that didn't go well affects anything but or that's just uh, a breaking point let's go yeah we made it to younger Johnny finally a huge jump oh actually can we go back can I go back no I don't think the grave is there oh I guess that makes sense hey look what we have here the house is being built I bet they saw this cliff and thought it was not dangerous enough without people living on it. There's Johnny. Is that River? No, oh, Isabel. Uh, Nick called and said I should come. I brought you pickled olives. They're your favorite, right? I heard about River. Will she be okay? Her illness was just diagnosed in its last uh, late stage. Fortunately, it's treatable. But the medical bills. We can't afford to finish the building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for her treatment. I'm just relieved that she'll be okay. But you don't know how much this place means to her. She's gonna be heart she's gonna be heartbroken. I'd help, but Ted and I have been barely getting by since the market crashed. What are you gonna do now? I'm I'm gonna tell her that we can make it. I'm gonna tell her that we can afford everything. I don't want her to do anything crazy. You shouldn't lie to her. You don't understand, Isabel. She found out. I'm not sure which she'd choose. So what? If she chooses not to save herself for the sake of this place, then so be it. It's what she really wants. Really? I don't know. I mean, 
allowing you yourself to die from a treatable illness to have a house built? I mean, I don't know. I guess there's <laughs> there's memories or importance to it, but that's a terrible choice to make. I really dislike when you're neurotypical. Sorry, neurotypicals think you know what's best for others. I hate when you call me that, Izzy. You think it, this is all about her? What about me, Isabel? After all these years, am I not allowed to be selfish even once? I don't want to be alone, Isabel. I'm not going to let her die. That's arrogant. I don't care. Where are you going? I'm going to pick something from this cliff to bring back to her. It'll at least give her some comfort. That doesn't make what you're doing any less wrong. Nick want me to give this, t give you this. He said it's called Everything's Alright. It isn't. Oh, it's a, a music box. Okay, so he's gonna pick those flowers that we used to get here. Interesting. What is it? I think it's a music box. It didn't tell me though. There's the pickle olives. Oh, we can't grab them. Um. I don't know, we're wandering a little more than normal. <laughs> I do I like the walking. It's it makes me it does give me chrono trigger vibes. And just uh, expecting things to come out and attack us at any second. Okay, there's a truck. Doesn't seem to be important. There's rope. We can't get to the pickles. Well, we can go see where he went. There's a hammer. Oh! Apparently, memories. Memories were here. I can't get over there. It requires, like, hopping or something. Hmm. We'll save. doing? Seems to be alright. Well, let's see if I can break it. another thing. Oh. Oh, we can go in the house. I did not realize that. No? Not enough. Let me hang in the house. Tricky to click. When 
the truck is here. Maybe we can click on that. Oh, there we go. Thought that was unusual. Okay. We should be able to break open the pickle olives now. Pear. Okay. One. Okay. That worked out. Get in three. Let's go. Receive note pickle olives. Wait, wait, wait. Let's look at these. Oh. I meant to look at the, our note. Looks like we're at a bar, dude. So you guys are really going for it? Yep, the construction's starting in just a few months. It's a bit of a squeeze. We had to split the payment. But with financing, we'll make do. How wonderful having your dream house built on such a beautiful site. You had your wedding at the lighthouse near there all those years ago, didn't you? That's not all that's special about it. We have a long history with that place. Well, it's good to have some good news at a, at a get-together for once. Cheers and congratulations, you two. Hey, cheers! I'll be right back. I gotta get some fresh air. Me too. Bye, River. Nice to see you up and about. We'll probably call it as soon as we get a little break. Well, buddy, it's sure been a while. Has it? Hasn't it? Who knew how hard it is to get across a few cities nowadays? That river still so quiet, huh? Eh, she's actually been talkative at home. And with Isabel, I guess she's just not used to you. Ha ha ha. So I'm the bad guy here, huh? Oh, hey. Did I tell you that... Tell River... Or, sorry. Hey, so did you tell River that thing from back then? I did. So how did she take it? For the most part, she took it well. But something bugs me. Ever since the incident, she's been making these strange rabbits out of paper. Origami rabbits? Yeah, lots of them. Haha. <laughs> I used to fold origami animals for my daughter all the time. What's wrong with that? Um, I don't think it's the same thing. She's been doing nothing but making the same rabbit, day in and day out. Our house is literally filled with them now. Uh, didn't Isabel say something like that is a common trait with the river's condition? Yes, but something doesn't feel right this time. When I ask her about it, she never answers. Instead, she gets this distant look in her eyes. Someone says she wants she wants something from me. And the strangest thing is, I feel like there's something I owe her, too. Have you asked Isabel? Yes. She said she talked to her about it, but got nothing. Well, I'm certainly not one to inquire, but I'll tell you this. I've known you since middle school, and you're notorious for overthinking. You're probably just imagining things. There's no need to get worked too worked up. Usually when someone says that, something's 
always wrong. But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're probably right. Probably. I'm always right, John. I think he's like the only person who calls him John. Wait. So even himself never knew what was up with those rabbits. Forget about the stupid rabbits. We've got bigger problems. It's a confined memory, and there's no mementos anywhere. Don't worry, we can probably draw one out from him. How? Leave it to me. I just gotta give the bartender a quick visit. Um, okay. Um, maybe we'll finish off here, and then before we travel to the next place, we'll... We'll stop it. At least one more thing. Oh, we're we're, we're Doctor Watts now. Uh, first things first. We'll do a save. Also, I want to look at the olives. It's Johnny's favorite. Okay. Not yet. Yeah, there's some patrons that we don't we can't quite see. Um, come on. Hey there, could I get you anything? Hey, yo, could you get me a bottle of pickle olives, please? Sure, cash or credit. Uh, check? Um, sorry, we don't take checks. Oh, uh, just put on my tab, then. Wait, does this mean you don't have any money? You're so getting reset it. Hey there, could I get you anything? Helio, could I get a bottle of pickled olives, please? Sure, cast or credit. Just put it on my tab. I feel like spending big today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's your pickled olives. Thanks, bro. You're getting an enormous amount of tips today. Thank you, sir. You're such an ass, Neil. Oh, loosen up. All right. Why is that pickled olives your... Why, is that a p bottle of pickled olives you're sporting? Yeah, are you a fellow olive lover? Indeed I am. I just got a fresh bottle of them myself, in fact. Mind if I join you? Sure, why don't you grab a seat? We'll down a bottle together. Who Are they drinking bottles of olives? Oh, yeah. That sounds just swell. Are we... Eva, disable taste simulation now? Oh, Neil. I don't think I feel like it. I'm so gonna get you back for this. Meanwhile... So, that's how we got our first toaster. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, gah. You okay there? Yes, I'm just savoring the amazingness of pickled olives. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yeah, I just can't understand how anyone could find such things to be disgusting. Take your time. We got two bottles left. So we just go to the bar, and eat, drink, pickle olives. That's disgusting. So I, I said, hey, that's not right. And they totally agreed. You know what else was wrong with society today? There we go. Yeah, actually, actually, have it right here. Why? May I see it? Uh, okay. Here it is. And freeze. Finally, dear lord. How were the olives, Neil? Oh, shut your mouth. Be fair, we'll give Neil credit. He, like, 
was very good there. He got the pickles, and you know, he, he did it. He got this thing. It's a memento. Wait, don't you dare. Don't worry, sheesh. See? I'm doing it by the books. Come on. You know he's gonna do it. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. Trying to get into this, and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. Alright. So, we'll prepare the memento, and then we'll call it Call, call the stream. Um. Okay, it's hard to see. I deal in four. It's hard to see what's not done. I think these guys. Let's start with middle and see what happens. Okay. Ah, uh, indeed. That would do that one. Hmm. Can we do? Oh, I can't. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um. Yeah. What I thought. Okay. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Puzzling. Alright. We broke it. Um, we're going to save here. And yeah, I think we'll continue this um, next Thursday. So this will be our sort of fun indie game. And yeah, we'll continue it. We'll go down Johnny's mind and hopefully uncover all his mysteries and get him onto the moon. We haven't even talked about the moon for a while. So we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure out what's the deal with the paper rabbits. Who's Anya? Um, why does he want to go to the moon? What's with the house? We're, we're going to learn it all. But that'll be later. That'll be later. So, until then, until then, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank the chatters. Thank you, chatters. Um, thank the lurkers. You got to love lurkers. Lurkers are love. Thank you to our subber. Thank you, thank you. And to the VOD watchers from the future. I hope the future is bright. Um, my next planned stream is Saturday for Saturday Morning Arcade. We'll be playing something arcadey. It'll be fun. Um, then Monday, Monday, we are going to be starting a new series. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, because we finished Paper Mario. So we're going to start something new. Um, all I can say is I'm planning on it being nintendo -y. So yeah, hope to see you then. Um, let's see who is streaming tonight. And yeah, hope people are, are interested in this game. I know it's it's an it's an indie game. It's kind of weird. Uh, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. There's you can tell it, it's gonna be like chock full of emotions and things. Who is stream or who is streaming? Ah, we're gonna raid Shiloh. Shiloh is playing Octopath Traveler and celebrating four years of streaming. Maybe let's go raid Shiloh. Oh, oh. Yeah, 
and I, like I said, I hope you all ha are having a wonderful night. Thank you for listening, hanging out, watching some pixel art fun. And yeah, oh, I'm going to wait for a commercial to get through. Um, and I'll talk to you all later. See you all later. Yeah. Have a good night, everyone. Cheers. Discord DM to see how terrible it was. All right, Max. <coughs> oh, my goodness, that looks horrible. <laughs> Stop dying. I, I'll try, Celeste. In the future, I will be more considerate and not die as much. <laughs> How was your experience with Kids Moon Acrylic? Is it a game you would recommend I play? I know Max is, and I want you to try. Dies instead. Listen, Max, don't you dare die on me. Who else will get to tease me about being bad at video games? Well, that escalated quickly. Try this! My turn now. Yeah. Mark, well, you're here more than Mark is. Uh, me? <laughs> Alright, fair. That's, that's fair. Bring your you're enjoying it? There's a lot of potential for deals to happen? Nice. Out of my way. I must definitely.